Such a fun one on our hands right here. We got two dudes who have been vying for the welterweight championship for so long. But you have to argue, AJ, one of these guys has already had an opportunity. That's Gilbert Burns. He had his chance against Kamaru Usman, right? Below Muhammad, for whatever reason, it's almost like they just don't want the man to be successful. Somebody at the top is just like, I don't want to see him fight for a championship. Maybe it's the way he fights. Maybe it's because he's not super duper popular with the antics. But you have to admit, these are the two most blue collar, hardworking fighters in this entire division. And it's a shame that one of these guys has to lose. So let's break down the X's and O's, man. How different are these fighters if you really think about it? If you really think about it, Derek, not much. Yeah. Both are grinders. Both are going to be in there, have an absolute gas tank, and going to have a uh, pressure fighter the entire time. Both these guys want the fight to be their style. Ironically, their style is both the same thing. It's just on the opposite end of the coin right here. I would say that the big difference between the two, if I had to identify something, is Gilbert Burns is much more willing to just throw bombs out there when, he, when he's striking. Bilal, in my opinion, is a touchy, get off me. I'm going to break you down over the course of three rounds. My pace is not going to stop. It might not be the fastest, but it's not going to slow down. If you're Gilbert Burns, at a certain point during the fight, given the shots that he takes for the takedown attempts, for the big haymakers that he throws on, on in the stand-up, he slows down a touch, just a touch. It's not something substantial. Do you think Bilal Muhammad can capitalize on that? Or does Gilbert Burns just straight up, you know, get the takedown, hold him there, and we don't even get to see that? I think that's why uh, Bilal Muhammad demanded this be a five-round uh, five <laughs> fight, Derek. Yeah. Rounds four and five, that's when the big gas tank comes into play of Dorino, man. And you're right. Uh, if, if you have to say an, an actual legitimate kind of sort of like cl what's opposite – power on one side technique precision skill on the other but it's not that far off man bully b can also has the power to shut your lights off gilbert burns also has the instinct to know how the fight game goes this one's very close man i'm glad you pointed out this is this is to me this is the fight of the most underappreciated fighters mm -hmm. on the roster that are doing it consistently but get no love and they all got wins over big guys, man. If you're looking at, I mean, below Muhammad, for whatever reason, I feel like nobody's talking about it. He just dispatched one of the best prospects in the division, took their O and everything, Sean Brady. He dispatched, he finished him. But nobody cares and nobody's giving him any credit. Gilbert Burns, however, you get a win over Jorge Masvidal and everyone is like, oh, look at Gilbert doing it. And lo I love me some game bread. I love me some Durinho Burns. But I just think that if you look at hit list resume for the last five wins for Blah Muhammad, it's Sean Brady, Vicente Luque, Wonderboy Thompson, Damian Maya, and I guess Diego Lima because the, the Leon Edwards, no contest, right? Gilbert Burns, we got Jorge Masvidal, Neil Magny, Wonderboy Thompson, Tyron Woodley, Damian Maya. So they're similar. They're definitely similar, right? Um, but it's just a little bit different. Both of these fighters have gone five rounds once in the last 10 fights. It doesn't really matter at the end of the day because this is three rounds. So I think we need to hit on that a little bit more, man. Gilbert Burns, with the appropriate strategy, I think is the favorite in this fight because it's three rounds. I do think if this was five rounds, it would be a little bit different. But the real big X factor, in my opinion, is another one. Does this even hit the mats or do these two dudes just push each other up against the cage and try to go back and forth trying to punch each other? What do you think? This one, I'm a little more confident in saying this one's staying on the feet, Derek. At least with the last one, Cejudo, his anti-wrestling, because he's such a good wrestler, played into effect. But this is a, just a hammer against a hammer right here, Derek. And I think both of these guys are in store for an absolute firefight. But in the last fight for Bilal, he never really shot takedowns against Sean Brady. But because Sean Brady was trying to shoot takedowns against him, he was able to be effective with his takedown defense. Does Gilbert Burns shoot in this fight? Hmm. It's a good question. I want to say when he's hurt, when he's tired, rounds three, you know, late, later in the fight, two and a half, three deep in there. I don't see this as a Dorino, I'm, I'm coming, I'm going to be patient and chill and then try to work some takedowns. He himself has said he likes fighting at the heavier class so that he can stay more active and win more money. He just got three big checks within the last three and a half months. And he's looking, he's just said, you know, I bought a house, I did all this, X, Y, Z. He's looking for some cash, Derek. Now, to me, that does raise a little bit of a red flag right there. Mm -hmm. The the three fights in three and a half months, him looking a little bit ahead, trying to fill that pocketbook, does that bode well to you? Or is this something that you didn't look over? I look past it, man. I think Gilbert Burns is a hungry guy. I think both of these guys are super duper hungry. And Gilbert, he was even in the position where he was all like, if I don't get a title shot, I won't fight. 
It's simple as that. He got this fight, and it's still not guaranteed there's a title shot. Reports just came out that they got promised that they would be next for the title, but then Dana was like, nah, it's still Colby. So, I mean, who knows? But this is the real question that I have here, man. How how impactful is it going to be that Gilbert Burns just fought? I mean, if you look at the date on that fight, it was April 8th, man. That was less than a month ago. Bilal Muhammad, on the other hand, his last fight was back in October. This is kind of short notice for both guys, but Gilbert Burns at least is coming off of a camp, so that helps. Is that going to be impactful for three rounds? Ooh, I don't think so, man. If this was a five-round fight, I'd, I'd weigh that a lot more. But three rounds, he's just been doing three rounds for a long time. Bully B about in the same time that uh, Jorge was fighting um, Gilbert. He said he's like, oh, I'll step in if anybody needs to. So he said he was in shape too, man. So I don't put, I don't think either of these guys are slacking off. Both of them very hungry. All right. Well, when we're breaking it down, man, I like Gilbert Burns in this spot, but I'm not going to pick him to win. And this is the reason why. I have discount. I think we all collectively have discounted Bilal Muhammad time after time after time. The man is on a nine fight win streak or whatever, right? He's on a crazy win streak right now since getting knocked out by Vicente Luque back in 2016, bro. Think about that. You haven't lost a fight since 2016. Gilbert Burns, on the other hand, he's fought the Kamar Usmans, the Hamza Chemaevs, right? And all that good stuff. He's tasted those L's. So I think that there's another hunger that comes with that. But Bilal, I think, is in a different category in terms of his hunger. I have to roll with remember the name Bilal Muhammad. I do think, though, if Gilbert Burns can land a couple of those big shots and hurt him, he wins just on damage alone. But give me Bilal Muhammad a decision because it's almost Caitlin Chikagian esque. Uh, remember the name Bilal Muhammad. How do you see it, bro? I think this is a very hard one to choose, man. This is probably the hardest one of the entire fight card for me because these guys are so similar and, and both very, uh, a couple of my favorite fighters, man. And as much as I think Bilal Muhammad also comes in with a chip on his shoulder, I feel like a, a Dorino just thinks it's his time. So me personally, man, I, I agree with you. Dorino has the power. I'm looking for him to put some damage on, but I'm still going with that plus 250 decision. Okay. Decision for Dorino Burns. That'd be two in a row right there since getting that uh, submission win over Magni. You got to give it to him, though. He did say in the in the presser, he was all like, I'm trying to knock him out or submit him. You know what the, you know what the game 